So this problem deals with the reaction of a compound of a univalent metal M. So A is a binary compound of a univalent metal M. 1.422 gram of that compound reacts with 0.32 gram of sulfur to form the given mass of a white crystalline solid B that forms a crystalline hydrated double salt C with aluminium sulfate. So what are A, B, C and M and what is the specific use of A? So a, a binary compound A which of a univalent metal reacts with sulfur. So the binary compound reacts with sulfur to form a white crystalline solid. And you are given 0.32 gram of sulfur combines with 1.422 gram to form 1.742 gram of the white crystalline solid. So 0.32 gram of sulfur correspond to 1.422 gram of A. Therefore, 32 gram of sulfur which is the atomic weight will correspond to 142.2 gram of A. So this one and, and 1.422 gram of A according to the information given forms 1.742 gram of the white crystalline solid. 1.742 gram of the white crystalline solid B. Therefore, 142.2 gram of that A will correspond to 174.2 gram of the white crystalline solid. So since it forms a crystalline hydrated double salt with aluminium sulphate, the original compound of original compound A which reacts with sulphur to form another sulphate. So the double salt, the salt must be a double sulphate. So the double salt must be a double sulphate which contain the metallic sulphate plus aluminium sulphate plus water that is water of crystallization this is this must be the composition of the double sulphate so from from the given information you get 142.2 gram of a the compo compound of a univalent metal correspond to 174.2 gram of the the sulphate so 174.2 so if i take the the compound as the given compound binary compound as MOX it reacts with sulfur to form M2SO4 as per the information given. So 142.2 gram of A corresponds to 2 moles of MOX and from the information given 174.2 is the is the molecular mass of M2SO4 from this if you subtract 96 which is the formula weight of sulphate ion 174.2 minus 96 will correspond to 2 m that divide by 2 will work out to be 39 or slightly greater than 39 which happens to be the atomic mass of potassium. So the potassium must be involved the compound binary compound of the univalent metal m m must be potassium. And from this information, you will get 2 moles of, since you have found out potassium, it is KOX. So, 142.2 gram of A correspond to 2 moles of X. So, which will be 2 into atomic weight of potassium is 39 plus 16X. From this, you get X as 2, which means the compound must be KO2. The original compound must be KO2. The metal must be potassium. And the sulphate white crystalline solid B must be crystalline solid B, B must be K2SO4 and the last hydrated double salt must be potassium which is potassium sulphate, aluminium sulphate 24H2O. So the metal must be potassium. The compound binary compound of the univalent metal potassium is potassium superoxide. It forms a crystalline salt which is with sulfur is potassium sulfate and which in turn forms a double sulfate with aluminium sulfate which is potassium alum. And what else is asked is what is the specific use of potassium superoxide. Potassium superoxide is used for getting a supply of oxygen particularly for people who are working on submarines and spaceships because in that atmosphere carbon dioxide is larger in amount. So what it does it do is it removes carbon dioxide present in that atmosphere giving a fresh lease of oxygen. KO2 
removes carbon dioxide forming K2CO3 and oxygen so that the oxygen which is available will help them to breathe properly.